Hello and welcome to part 5 of Firefox OS programming. In this part I'll introduce you to jQuery Mobile and how it enables you to write more native lookalike apps. Let's first prepare a new example. Go to the folder where your first project was located and create a new folder on the same level I called it example 2 for example and copy the whole content of the folder of your first project into this new folder. Then, if you are using Eclipse, go to File, New, Project, Next and enter the name of your new folder for example, Example 2 and you see I have already imported the project and see my files here on the left for the new project example 2. The first thing you have to do is to change the name of the app. So open the manifest.webapp file and change the name for example to first jQuery mobile example. I also added two new styles in the my style CSS folder called heading and heading first letter but you don't have to include them I included them just for fun. So let's go to the index.html file. The new index.html file. You see the standard elements are still present. HTML head, body. We have the header, content and footer tags. And what is new here is I included two buttons and a standard HTML link. Ignore this part here at the top for the moment. We will come to this later. This is all the jQuery stuff you will need. Um, just include the MyStyle CSS file. So, let's see how this file will look like in our simulator. Go to the dashboard and click Add Directory and add the new directory you created, the new project. I already have done this, so first jQuery mobile example is already present here. Then click refresh and you see the simulator is popping up and this is the example. You see that. and the first letter of the header is rendered differently. We have two buttons which are clickable and a test link. This does not look very pretty to me. First of all, these uh, buttons and the test link is not centered. Let's change this. Usually you would just uh, use, for example, a div tag with the alignment center, for example. This works. And close the div tag here. Let's see if anything changes. I reload. Yes. OK. This looks a little better, but it does still not have the native feel that you might have from Android or iOS applications. This looks more like a standard web application or cheap website. <laughs> so, now let's see what can jQuery Mobile do for us. The first thing you have to do is download JMobile, uh, jQuery Mobile and download jQuery. So let's do this. Open your browser and go to the website jQuery.com. Then you see the main web page of jQuery and click here on the top left the download button and then it's important that you don't select jQuery 1 but jQuery 2 here and click download the compressed production jQuery at the moment of this tutorial it, the version was 203 okay if you click the link you see the whole content of the compressed JavaScript in your browser that's not what you want so go back and press the right 
mouse button on the link and click save file as or save target as um, in the opening context menu. Place the file in your scripts folder of your project, in my case example 2, scripts. You see here I have placed the file jQuery 203min.gs in this folder. What's this file above? jQuery mobile 140min.js. It's jQuery mobile. So we also need jQuery mobile. So open your browser and go to the website jQueryMobile.com. Also click the download button at the top and then you need two parts. First you need the JavaScript. Click on Minified and GZIP jQuery Mobile 1.4.0 is the current version at the moment. Right click Save As and save it into your scripts folder. You also need the styles. So click the link Minified and GZIP with default theme jQuery Mobile 140 min CSS. Right click and save this file into your scripts fo uh, styles folder. And you can see in my styles folder example 2 styles there's the new style jQuery Mobile 140 min CSS. So one file CSS in the styles folder and two new files in the scripts folder one file for jQuery and another file for jQuery mobile. So now that we have the files we need to include jQuery and jQuery mobile, let's go back to our project and to the index.html file. Now I comment this stuff in again. You have to write it down for yourself. First, I include a new style sheet, and it is exactly the file I downloaded, jQuery Mobile 140 min CSS, in the styles folder. And I included two scripts one is jQuery 203, and the other is jQuery Mobile 140. One style sheet and two JavaScripts. That's all you have to add in the head of your HTML file. Nothing else. All the content, everything else remains the same. But let's now see how this affects our app. First take a look at the old version. And now if I reload the page... Wow! Isn't this great? The buttons are totally rendered differently I think more app-like, more, yeah, very great. And also the link is handled differently. This is all you have to do. And look what jQuery does with your app. The header is all has also changed and the footer, if you see, it's great. So what the hell happened here? What the hell did jQuery do to my yeah, code? Well, let me explain you. What jQuery actually does is reapply styles to your um, to the already presented DOM model to the styles of the current HTML document. So, for example, the button. You remember how the button was rendered before? And what jQuery Mobile does is just apply a style to this button so that the button looks like this one. And also with JavaScript you have the hover effects and on-click handlers and much much more. Just without entering any line of code, just including these two scripts and one style, this is what we get. Great. But why did I also include a link in this example? Well, I did this because you have to handle the navigation by yourself in Firefox OS. Most of the time you will use a link element. 
So, but you don't want to use a link like this one in navigation. I think this looks not very good. Um, it should more look like these buttons, for example, a forward button or back button. So, can jQuery do this for us? Yes, it can, and it's very simple. Just go back to your code, where you have defined the anchor tag, and add an attribute called data row. This attribute is widely used in jQuery Mobile. And before I explain it, um, I enter data row button for this link. That's all you have to do. Save the file. I reload the app and now see what happens to the link. Oh, it becomes a button, just like the other two. Great. But I'll explain the data role attribute and navigation in the next part. What I want to show you at the end of this part, or almost at the end of this part, is you can apply different themes to your app just by adding another attribute to the elements. And this attribute is called data theme. You can use letters from A ranging to F, I think. Okay, so let's see what happens if I use a B, for example. I want this link, which is already rendered as a button, in the theme of type B. Rendered in the theme of type B. Okay, I save the file and reload the whole page. And you see, the link is rendered differently. Black, in this case. Well. There are only three standard themes coming with jQuery Mobile and um, there are A, B, C I think. So if I use a C, it looks almost like the A theme but a little lighter like these other two but you can't really see the difference. So in the basic jQuery, jQuery Mobile version you just have these two different themes A and B. Well, there are good news. You can add your own themes to your app. And this is very great, I think. Let me show you how to do this. First, go to the page where you downloaded jQuery Mobile, jQuerymobile.com. And then click on Themes in the menu at the top. Then the theme roller is loaded. A theme loader is a tool jQuery provides. Click here on Get Rolling and you can add your own styles just by dragging and dropping the colors from the top to the different elements you want to color. So here you see A, B and C, three themes. If I want to create a new theme, I click on Add Swatch and I have a new column here. So let's just, to show you how this works, drag some colors to the elements. Let's uh, start with orange, for example. I drag orange to uh, this list header, for example. Ah, and you see things are colored differently. Then let's um, use a lighter orange and drag this to the other parts here. And you see, oh, it changes. Very good. And let's use um, kind of green, uh, very ugly, but <laughs> you can use every color you want. And the theme is almost complete. If you want to use the theme, you just have to download the theme and then you can use it in your code. All you have to do is, when your themes are finished, when you have finished editing the themes, Click the download link here, then you'll get the whole themes as a zip file. And there's a subfolder called themes. Um, unpack this themes folder into your project folder and you can use the themes. I forgot to mention if you download the zip file, you have to give it a name. 
For example, I called it test theme here, and this is the name you have to include in your HTML file. You can see it here. I added two new lines, one style sheet referencing test theme CSS in the themes folder, and another style sheet referencing the jQuery mobile icons min CSS file in the themes folder. But these links are presented to you if you click download. Then you can see here these two lines. Just change the name and the path of where your themes are located. So, and you can see if I reload the app, this button is rendered with my new theme D because I entered data theme D here in my code. Very great. So with the theme roller you can prepare your own theme and drag different colors to different elements of the of the preview and if you like them you can download it as a theme you can make hmm, let's test it E yeah as I told you themes A to E more are not possible you can make five themes and save them as themes include them into your project and then it looks exactly like it was in the browser, in the theme roller, here.